What's up, Internet? It's Paisley Computer here to extend an olive branch to all those jagoffs that were offended by my hipster doofus ASMR video. I'm here to help you to determine if washing your TBS or MCR 20th anniversary reissue really will make the band sound better. Here, I found a dusty, grimy, old CBS record called the, quote, The New CBS Audio-File Sound Effects Library. It's full of weird test tones like this. And also the press is very strange. There's a ton of space between each recording. So you have to kind of give it a little flick to get the needle to go to the next track. We also get to enjoy the soothing sounds of the US Army. A lot of the audio just seems to be recordings of U.S. military training drills and artillery ranges and gun ranges. But there is some pretty interesting stuff. I did find a great track to listen to to compare what cleaning the record would do and how it would improve the sound. This is a recording of the Apollo Launch Mission Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We passed the six minute mark in our countdown, and now five minutes, 52 seconds. And so now that we have our test track, I've also recorded the same track into the computer. So let's go ahead and get this record on the desk and get it nice and clean. The product we're using today is called Groove Washer comes with a little bit of groove washing juice, a uh, nice walnut felt cleaner, and the uh, bottle comes with a nice little micro mister and a little pad to put your record on. Instructions are pretty simple. Box just says spray and wipe. Pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and get the record. Again, that CBS sound effects audio record. And going to go ahead and put that on the little centerpiece there, line it up nice and well with the, the pad underneath, and give it a couple sprays. So my thought process here is I'm going to wipe all the dirt one direction. So we're just trying to do a unidirectional method around the record once or twice. So we're going around again all in the same direction. And then we're just going to, you know, now that I've got all the dirt collected, we're going to sweep it back and... Nothing really seems to have collected on the brush itself, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a wipe down. Now this little white micro cloth did not come with the box. This is just something from my own collection. And again, I've gone around the record and I'm not seeing too much gunk coming off of it, so perhaps this record's just not that dirty. But I'm just going to continue with the back and forth method all the way around the record. We're going to hit the middle, work our way all the way to the outside. And this time, yeah, it it was kind of starting to show some gunk coming off of it. So just going to go ahead and hit it, hit it one more time with the brush. Just to make sure it's nice and dry. And then now, if we look at the reflection, you can see, one, how thick and how much vinyl there is between each track. But if you notice, the reflection to me, honestly, on the clean side, does look much brighter, much sharper. You can see much more detail. So I think, yes, this cleaning fluid definitely is making a difference. So since we can visually see a little bit of a difference, uh, let's go ahead and find out if this makes a difference sonically. So we're going to go ahead and do the same process on the other side of the record. Again, wipe all the dirt off, hit it with the micro sham. Now, I've also recorded this record. Got it pulled up here in Audacity. We're going to use the Audacity noise reduction. So what you do is you can hear the little record static. And what we're going to do is we're going to train the machine to pull that noise out, basically. So we can select it. We go up to effects. We go to noise uh, correction. We do a create profile. So now it's loaded up to basically wipe that out. And if we apply it to our track, it will reduce the static noise. You'll still have some, but it, it does re reduce quite a bit. 
Now with that profile set, we can select the entire track and then go back to the noise reduction options and go ahead and apply it to the entire track. Now this comes with some caveats. It is not perfect. It does take out some fidelity. You can hear, it sounds a little weird. So yes, it does take a little bit of work. You have to adjust some dials. You have to adjust the sensitivity. We'll take a listen to my example in just a moment, but let's go ahead and review everything we've collected so far back to back. The five minutes, 20 seconds and counting. Coming up shortly, that swing arm up at the spacecraft level will come back to its fully retracted position. This should occur at the five minute mark in the count. We're now passing the four minute, 30 second mark in the countdown. Still go at this time. We're now hitting the four minute mark. Four minutes, mark, four minutes and counting will go on an automatic sequence as starting at three minutes and seven seconds. Three minutes, 45 seconds and counting. And the final uh, abort checks between uh, several key members of the crew here in the control center and the astronauts. Launch operations manager wished the crew on the launch team's behalf good luck and Godspeed. Three minutes, 25 seconds and counting. We'll still go at this time. We'll be coming up in the automatic sequence about uh, 10 or 15 seconds from this time. All still go at this time. Firing command coming in now. We are on the automatic sequence. We're approaching the three minute mark in the count. T minus three minutes and counting. T minus three, we are go with all elements of the mission at this time. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. T minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. The members of the launch team here in the control center monitoring a number of what we call red line values. These are tolerances we don't want to go above and below in temperatures and pressures. They're standing by to call out any deviations from our plans. Two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We're still go at this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned, and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Two minutes, 10 seconds and counting. The target, the moon, at liftoff will be at a distance of 218,096 miles away. We just passed the two minute mark in the countdown, T minus one minute, 54 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates that the oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. We continue to build up pressure in all three stages uh, here at the last minute uh, to prepare it for liftoff. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the mission, the flight to land men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Tower clear.
Well, there you have it. Cleaning your records does make a pretty remarkable improvement in the sound quality. And just in the 30, 45 minutes I spent trying to balance the removal of the static but also keep the fidelity of the recording turned out to be quite hard. So in this case, yeah, go ahead and clean your records, kids. It'll make a pretty good improvement in the sound quality. So if you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe and share to your friends, and I will catch you on the next one.